standing here at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the site of this year's Army-Navy football game. Dwight Eisenhower once said, Army and Navy are best of friends for 364 and a half days of the year, but on one Saturday afternoon, they are the worst of enemies. All the players that will play in this game will serve their country. This game has always united us in times of peril. This is the story of America's game, an American tradition. The first Army-Navy football game was played on the parade grounds known as the Plain on November 29, 1890 at West Point, New York. Navy won that first game 24-0. Teddy Roosevelt always believed that the football field was a proving ground for the battlefield. This was confirmed by the performance of the Rough Riders, many of whom were former football players. Though FDR never played for Army or Navy, he would always root for Navy. It was a place he wanted to go to school, though his parents denied him that dream. President Woodrow Wilson attended the 1913 game. Army won that one 22-9. In 1924, President Calvin Coolidge attended the game and continued what became a long-standing tradition of switching sides of the field at halftime to watch the game. In 1930, Herbert Hoover signed this football along with members of both Army and Navy to auction off for charity to help the unemployed. Though JFK never played at either academy, he did play JV football at Harvard. He was always a supporter of Navy football. The game was played many times in the shadows of despair. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, FDR made sure that the game would be played in 1942. FDR said the Army-Navy face-off was key to morale of both academies and good for the country as well. President Harry Truman would go to seven Army-Navy games. Dwight D. Eisenhower never went to the game as president, though he did play halfback for the Army football team until a leg injury ended his playing career and nearly forced him out of West Point. JFK loved going to Army-Navy games and once was joined by Vice President Johnson, who never went as president. After the assassination of JFK in November 1963, Jackie Kennedy said her husband would want the game to be played. It was played with heavy hearts. Navy won 21-15. President Gerald Ford went to the 1974 game in Philadelphia and watched Navy defeat the Black Knights 19-0. In 1996, President Bill Clinton witnessed the Black Knights of Army defeat the midshipmen of Navy 28-24 in Philadelphia. Tragedy struck the nation on September 11, 2001. The game was once again played with the backdrop of war. Many of the participants on the field that day would be on the front lines on the War of Terror campaign after graduation. President George Bush attended the game three times. President Barack Obama attended the 2011 Army-Navy game. President Donald Trump attended four games, three as president and one as president-elect. All of these men who played on the field of friendly strife were getting ready to serve their country. Whether they were cadets from West Point or midshipmen from the Naval Academy, there was always a higher calling than football. This game always united the nation, whether you rooted for Army or Navy, and showed what was good about this country. Army-Navy, America's game, a true American tradition.